Hey guys, today's video is about, I'm going to bring five things that I like to do uh, in prep for the growing season when it starts to get hot. So uh, I was going to do five separate videos, but I thought, you know what, I could probably condense this all down into one. So first thing you want to do is fertilize. So we're in the middle of February, which is when the trees here in Arizona start to break dormancy. And if you look closely, this is an orange tree. And it's got a bunch of new growth. It's got hundreds and hundreds of flowers setting on here. So it's important this time of year to make sure that these trees have the nutrition that they need so that these flowers will turn into fruit. And so, I mean, it's just, there's hundreds of them. Which is exciting. This is an exciting time of year. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to pull the mulch back and I'm going to go ahead and fertilize. And there's all different ways to fertilize. So this isn't necessarily a video on that. In my case, I'm just going to use an organic fertilizer and I'm just going to pull the mulch back and sprinkle it around the base. That's all I'm doing this year. I'm not going to add any compost or anything like that at this time. Okay, here's a fertilizer I'm using. EB Stone Organic Citrus and Fruit Tree Food. So just follow the instructions on the, on the bag of fertilizer. And I'm just going to sprinkle it down here. Down at the, uh, at the drip line. And, and then what I like to do is take the hose and just kind of a, give it a quick once over after I spread the mulch back. It's always a good idea if you can to fertilize right before the rains come if possible but we don't have any rains projected though so, looks like we could get some rain but I doubt it so I'm just gonna kind of water this in using the overhead sprinkling and also going to turn the water on and water it nice and deep as well all right second thing you want to do when you're prepping for the growing season is you want to come and you want to wrap your tree trunks especially if you're in a place that gets really hot because these trunks can get damaged so i'll show you here a couple that a couple of trunks that i didn't wrap and have damaged. There's one there. And then there's one over here. And this one's even worse. This is a kumquat and it's healing. But if you look, you can see it's got some damage there. And so I just pulled the the uh, protection off of this one. You can see some spiders and some activity. I'm going to leave it off for about a week because I want this to kind of just dry up um, and then I'm going to put a new covering on and I also planted basil right here just to help it in the summertime this basil will grow really big and it'll shade that area out just to help protect it even more so this is the wrap I'm using and this stuff is pretty easy to use I just wrap it around and then um, you can tie it off at, at the top and I'll show you how that looks. In fact, I've got some I got one here. I've got to fix that because that's only going halfway up the trunk. But I'm gonna do that to this too now. Okay, there it is. You can see I just wrapped it around and around and I tied it a little bit with some tape. And you don't want to tie this too tight because remember these trunks are gonna be thickening up over the summertime during the growing season. If you time too tight, it'll cut off some of that nutrient flow. Okay, so now you've fertilized, you've protected the trunk, and now the third thing you want to do is come in here and do any last minute pruning. So over the winter time, you get some freezes and some of your, your trees will die back some. And so you want to get, get this cut off before we go into the growing season just to kind of 
help the tree focus its energy into the into the limbs that are alive. So I'm gonna do that now because uh, I definitely want this thing to to do well. So you can see this this branch is alive here. So I'm gonna clip it right here and just get rid of all this dead dead branch. This one here is dead. So we'll get rid of that. More down here. This whole thing here. Man, it's getting windy. Maybe we will get some rain. This one here, I want to make sure that I don't have anything alive. It doesn't look like it. This whole thing looks dead to me. So, go ahead. Cut that off. So there you go. Just do that. Um, you know, go through your trees and take care of any last minute pruning you got to do before the growing season begins. Okay, the fourth chore is to come and stake any trees that need to be staked. And so this particular tree, I need to stake it down because I transplanted it this year. And so the roots down here aren't as established um, as I need them to be. Uh, and just in case we get one of our monsoon storms that come through here, I don't want this thing to blow over. That would devastate me. So I'm going to go ahead and stake this up. And in my yard, the uh, wind always comes from the east. Or I'm sorry, from the west and blows east. So I'm going to put a stake here and I'm gonna put one on this side too and just kind of support it in two directions. So I'll work on that and show you what that looks like. Okay, so there it is. The tree is staked down and the screen tape is gonna be good, good enough for this location. A lot of times I'll use something a little bit more heavy duty, but where this is at, it's pretty well protected. Uh, it's got a line of trees coming this way. This is where the, most of the wind is gonna come from. It's got a line of trees protecting it there. It's got a wall over there. And then this mulberry is gonna get huge and it'll protect it from anything there. So, and you can see as it's a little bit windy, some of these trees are moving around, but that one's not really moving. So I'm feeling good about that. So that's uh, that's number four, stake your trees. All right, guys, fifth thing is to come to each of your trees and just give it a, a thorough look over. You wanna check everything. So what I've done, I wanna come in here and I wanna check the mulch, see if I need to add some mulch. And for this particular tree, it's plenty deep, so we're good there. I'm checking the water, make sure the water is flowing at the proper rate. I want to also come around here while I'm checking the mulch. And notice that this is up against the tree trunk. I don't want it that close, so I'm going to pull this away from the trunk. So I'm going to do that. And then the other thing is I'm looking at this. This needs to be fixed so it doesn't come all the way up. So I'm going to fix that. This would be a good time to check to see if there's any more dead branches. And you can see I missed a couple. So I'll be fixing that. And that's what you want to do. You just want to kind of give each, each tree a look over. So I'm going to look at some of the other trees and I'll point some things out as I come across them. All right, guys, I'm taking a look at my Bonanza peach tree, and I'm noticing some cracks going all the way up and down the trunk on that. And so this trunk I don't have protected. The reason for that is because it has a lot of, a lot of sun protection from this mulberry tree, because this tree will kind of just come up here, and it's going to give it nice protection. But it's still needs the trunk wrap. So I'm going to wrap the tree on this one. Another thing I noticed, I was doing a detailed look at this tree here. This is a, another kumquat. And then I noticed I've got some suckers coming in. So I'm going to want to go ahead and prune those suckers off right now. Because what this tree will do is it's going to put all the energy into these suckers. And then what I wanted to do is put its energy up here and give me some fruit. Okay, I was looking at my fig tree here, 
and this fig tree grew quite a bit last growing season and you can see it's kind of outgrown this stake here and so as I was doing my look over I was looking up here I'm like that's that's fine there it's nice and loose but this stake is not even connected anymore so this stake is no good so now I need to decide if I feel like I need another stake for this tree um, or if I just want to drive this in the ground, which is probably what I'll just end up doing is driving it in the ground deeper and then uh, and then just re-secure it with new tape. All right, here's an example of why I started doing these detailed looks. So if you look, I bought this, this is a passion fruit vine and I bought it and the vine was twisted around itself. And when I planted it, I didn't think much of it. I just put it in the ground the way it was in the pot. I got it from Home Depot. And what's happened is it's grown thicker and thicker. And the three vines that were twisted around each other, they were competing for the same resources. And as they got thicker and thicker, it killed out. You can see two of these vines died. So this one here, you can see this is the one that won. This one completely died. And this one completely died. But you can see where it's uh, choking itself off there. And so that's something that you want to make sure that you look for when you're doing these, these checks. And this is one of the reasons I decided that I need to start doing just a detailed look at all my trees. Because if I kept this, cut this when I was young, I could have prevented that. But now it's it's almost impossible and the stake it's wrapped around the stake too tight and so it's just kind of this is just kind of a mess and those are the things that you want to prevent in the future i'll show you one more thing come over this way okay so this is my apricot tree and this is another reason that i decided that i'm going to do a detailed walkthrough on all my trees at least once a year as the seasons are changing you can see this is a big tree, pretty tall, girthy. As you come in here, one of the things that I never really noticed on this tree, look at this branch. So you've got one branch coming off and it splits into three. And so it's kind of hard to tell, but this whole branch here, all of that is connected. All of this is connected. You can see a big chunk of this side of the tree is all connected to that branch. And then there's one more going to the back. And if you look at this one, let's see if I can get back here. You can see where it's coming up. It comes and it splits out there. And then it splits two more. And then it splits there. And so, what I've done is I've just made this mistake where I let this grow without noticing that about 50% of this tree is on that one branch. And it's going to be a problem for me because this tree is going to get, you know, as it loads down with fruit, it starts getting big, a big wind will come. It could snap that whole branch off. So, I'm going to wait until... I'm not going to fix that right now, but this is the kind of thing I just wanted to point it out because this is the kind of thing that you're looking for when you're doing your detailed walkthrough. This mess could have been avoided if I come through and just looked real closely and said, hmm, the way this branch is going doesn't make sense. So I got to decide I can keep, I can keep one of those branches, but I can't keep all three of them on that like that. All right guys, so that wraps up the five things that I'm doing right now to kind of get my trees ready for the growing season. So just to recap, number one, fertilize. Number two, wrap the trunk. Three, prune. Four, stake. And number five, which may be the most important, is just go through each tree and do a detailed look at different things just to make sure everything is Everything is going and you can nip these these problems off before they become real problems. Alright guys, thanks for watching.